so it's the 4th of July. So I've got my blue dress on, my red shoes on. I'm gonna do a jello shot. Jeff's gonna make us some wings. It's a great day. So let's do this jello shot because they're really, really, really yummy. So I have a cup of sour cream, or a cup of mayonnaise, half cup of sour cream. Then I have these dry ingredients. And they'll be in the description box, so um, you'll know what they are, but they're really simple. It's just a half teaspoon of chives, a half teaspoon of parsley, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of garlic salt, uh, pepper to taste, and I think that is Oh, I think that's everything, but if I miss something, it'll be in the description box, okay? So I'm just gonna add that in. And then, of course, you know, you have to add your, your ranch because it's ranch dressing, right? So add in your packet of ranch. And then you wanna mix it all up and hope that you don't make a huge mess, which I probably will make a little bit of a mess because I'm kind of clumsy, but whatever. Then, you wanna make sure that you add some hot sauce. Anyway, those are delicious. So, add that in. All right, so I have this hot sauce. Scorn Woman. <laughs> it's delicious. Also, we're gonna add that in too. Is Tammy scorned? I'm not scorned. I'm not a scorned woman. And again, just add it into like your taste. Mine's kind of hot. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more than probably you would. And then mix it up. It's good to go. I have to do another one of these because they're so delicious. I'm addicted to those. I'm telling you, after spending a week in the hospital eating nothing but jello, now I'm a jello addict. What I'm worried about is uh, if I put tequila in the jello, she's going to want to go back in the hospital. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> or is it vodka? Well, to be honest, I put vodka and brandy in them. <laughs> so. Okay. So folks want to see how you're going to get these ranch wings ready. Okay. If, if, if you can take some time from the jello shooters. I, I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so we're gonna use this wonderful seasoning. This it's a chicken seasoning. What is this? Cycle buckle, cycle, <laughs> cycle buster. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Cycle buster. <laughs> I've had a lot of Jello shooters today. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a cycle, cycle busters. busters chicken seasoning. Yes. Cycle busters. If you, if you want to learn more about it, I'll. I'll She's not going to do it, obviously. I'll put a link <laughs> up here in the video. But if you don't have this, you can use your favorite chicken seasoning, salt and pepper, garlic. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So we're going to first use the Sacco Sacco Busters. <laughs> Sacco Busters on the chicken. I better get my uh, iced tea out of the way. Yeah, I made that. I put mint in it. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? Okay. So we'll go ahead and get these guys all seasoned up. All right, so. That's like um, the bad thing is half teaspoon, teaspoon max. Okay. The bad thing is, is I really need to turn them over. However, I don't want to dirty my finger with the chicken because I want it. No, that's okay. Put all your seasonings on, and then we'll go from there. No, I'm just leaving there. I gotta put turn them. Don't put your other seasonings on. All right. Just put twice as much, and then you can turn them. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Then we're gonna use some paprika because it's absolutely delicious. And is it regular or smoked? This is just regular. Okay. I didn't use the smoked. I like smoked paprika. I mean, you can use smoked. Actually, this is smoked. Oh, well, there you go. You didn't use regular. I use smoked. So this is. <laughs> had a lot. Okay. So, and then this is totally optional. So, this is a daddle seasoning, and it's from my daughter's wedding. Um, she got married in November, and we they did this um, homemade daddle seasoning. That they grew the, the daddle peppers here in Florida. They made the seasoning and I love it. So if you don't obviously have this because it's for my daughter's wedding, just use any kind of you know pepper seasoning that you like. 
but okay. uh, the closest thing to it would be habaneros. Dados are a little, le little less hot than habaneros and a little bit sweeter. So if you're trying to get this recipe exact and you don't have dados, use dried habanero. Dattle seasoning is delicious. So if you can find it, definitely. But if you can't, like I say, you can use the dried habaneros. I mean, you can use ghosts, whatever you like. Just use less than she's going to use here. I'm going to be pretty generous because this is delicious. And, and it's for you and me, right? And yeah, you know, okay. it's not, I don't, dattle is to me not very spicy. It's no, kind of it's, sweet. I said it's less than a habanero. Right, so, yeah, you know, whatever. Okay, so the last ingredient, ranch dressing. I can't forget. So we're gonna sprinkle these guys with some ranch dressing. I can't forget this guy, I keep forgetting that guy. Okay, so we'll sprinkle this guy, these guys up with this. All right, so now they've got the ranch dressing. So we need to turn these guys over and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Why he gets them grilled up, I'm gonna do another one of these jelly shots because they are delicious and I like them a lot, so. They're so good. On this side, we're looking at 450 roughly. It's time to get these wings going. We're gonna put a little olive oil on here, all right? I don't want these wings to stick. They've been sitting in that seasoning that Tammy made. You guys hear that? Oh yeah. We're gonna do some straight up frying on these wings today on this art flame. First time I made wings on the art flame. I'm looking forward to it. It's been four or five minutes. We're just going to turn, look at that. Look at the beautiful color. We're just going to turn them over, right? I got to tell you, this art flame is great if you want to fry up some wings. Tammy's got this ranch seasoning going here. Can't wait to try these. Mm. This one wasn't ready. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Look at it. I gotta tell you, the art flame puts that awesome crust on the outside. They look delicious. You, can you get your own, or do I gotta get it for you? I mean, they look really good, but I don't know if they're as good as a here, jello shot. Here, here's your wing. <laughs> they may not I be as good as a wing. jello shot. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got our wing sauce, and let's give it a try. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost as delicious as the jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> okay. Well, the ranch so flavor, good. it comes out, does it not? Uh huh. It's not overpowering. She put some, was it daddle pepper? Some, some mm -hmm. sort of spice? Yeah, mm. and then I used a scorned woman in the sauce. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's talk about if you like your wings spicy or not. I would say on a scale for the average person, not for Tammy. Y'all have seen her eat ghost <laughs> peppers and stuff. From from one to ten, I would say this is a four-ish. Really? Maybe if I said not counting you. Oh, okay. Did you not hear me say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For not me, it's not a four-ish. But the average person, you know, I, I, they've done, tried some of our recipes and they said, oh, it's too hot. I'd say it's a four. The, the, look at that. I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can. The crust is just perfect, perfect on these wings. 